Hello class, um, today me and my group are going to be giving a presentation over the scientist Tabella Nyokong and she is a South African researcher that had a groundbreaking cancer di diagnosis and treatment plan which is an alternative to chemotherapy. She also is currently helping to solve the problem of world pollution and is a role model for all women pursuing a life in science. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about um, Professor Tabella's life outline. Um, starting with her date of birth, she was born in Lesto, Africa on October 20th, 1951. And moving on into her lifelong schooling, I'm going to introduce Angela to um, talk about that. She went to primary school in her village and then went to high school where she chose art subjects originally. And then two years later, she changed it to science. She received her Cambridge Overseas School Certificate in 1972 with a love for chemistry and that's where she um, got her high school degree. In 1977, she graduated from the National University of Lesotho, where she received her bachelor's degree. She then moved on to spending her spare time doing research on the role of chemistry in everyday African life. Based off her chemistry research, she received a scholarship from the Canadian International Development Agency to pay for her post-grad studies. Four years later, she graduated again with an MSc in chemistry and after studying further, received a PhD from the University of Western Ontario in 1987. She then applied for and was given a Fulbright Fellowship for postdoctoral study at the University of Notre Dame in the United States. And now I'm going to turn it back to Ashley, who will be talking more about her teaching career. Okay, so after studying in the United States, she briefly taught at the University of Lesbo before joining Rhodes. University in 1992 as a lecturer. She kept impressing her bosses and then her bosses' bosses to the point that she even eventually became a full-fledged professor. And currently she is working on a new cancer treatment and a way to diagnose patients. And I'm going to give the attention to Erica and Alejandra to discuss more about that topic. Okay, so photodynamic therapy, what is it? It is a new therapy based on using the dye which is used to color blue denim clothing and which is inert and harmless by itself, but can be activated by exposure to a red laser beam. The system, which has been approved in some countries, reportedly does not destroy hair or healthy cells or cause nausea. Technology and science is generated to form a chemotherapy for cancer that is a connection to stem. Okay, so growing up, during politically unstable times in Lesotho, South Africa, Professor Tabelo Nyakong always had an ambitious streak and wasn't afraid of hard work. She spent her childhood alternating, alternating sorry, between going to school and helping her family as a shepherd. And as a young adult, she resisted those who argued that scientific study would prove to be difficult for her. Um, she says, we are viewed as a continent of war and famine Feminine, I'm sorry, and not as a major player in science and technology. In my small way, I wish to change this perception. And I will pass it to Erika to continue this slide. Uh, Professor Tabello believed that science is not just part of our culture. It is part of our everyday life, and role models are crucial in promoting this. Many students in Africa, in Africa have excellent theoretical scientific knowledge, but lack the tools for research. Professor Tavello was desperate for a challenge. After three years studying arts and humanities, she, she decided to switch her major. Um, at that time, there were no role models for her to look up to, so she decided to follow her peers. She was told that science was too hard and way beyond her, but despite that, she decided to become determined and go for what she wanted to study. And now Angela will be discussing pollution control. One of the aspects of Professor Nayo Kong's research is pollution control. And one of the methods for the purification of water is photochemical destruction of pollutants, such as chlorinite phenols and other pesticides, using ultraviolet light. However, photodegradation products for some of the pollutants are more toxic than the parent compounds. Photosynthesized oxidation has been suggested as a possible solution to this problem. Professor Nayo Kong is investigating the use of 
Thylocyanide, um, a chemical compound, as photosynthesizers, including biomimetic and electrochemical degradation of the pollutants, and the transformation of uh, chlorinated phenols and other pollutants into less harmful products. Now Isabella will be talking more about her influence on women in science. Hello, so during her time in um, primary school, Professor Tibolo would also work in the fields tending to the sheep. At this young age, she learned that she couldn't, uh, that being a woman couldn't stop her from doing anything that boys could do, and she could do it as well, or just as better. So flash forward to our high school years, Professor Tibolo was studying the arts because that was expected for a young woman to do in her area. But two years left into her undergraduate program, she totally changed her course and changed her major to chemistry, which was her true passion. Uh, growing up, she had no real role model in the science field, so this drove her to influence other young women to pursue their careers in science. Um, Tibolo states that female scientists act as role models for young women. They also create scientifically literate communities since they bring up children and can encourage specific scientific thinking quite early in life since women are nurturing to their children. All right, and now Erica is going to go over the summary of Professor Tabella. Hi guys, we hope you enjoyed our, our presentation about Professor Tabella. Right now we will watch a short video about anything that, that, that motivated her and what made her go through her accomplishments. I went and stayed with my grandmother, who was a farm worker. Then I started to go to school on one day, and on the next day, I then look after sheep. When you are a shepherd, you've got to survive in the field. To an ordinary person, all sheep look the same, or all cows look the same, not to you. Each one of them has a name. So you, you develop a bond with the animals. What gave me strength? I was fortunate it was my father, simple. And constantly, my father said, you can do anything. Don't ever stop. So coming from a father is very important. He believed very strongly that the system in South Africa would be beaten by education. <laughs> For me, the most difficult choice was when I went to do my masters and leaving my children behind. I, I think the bond between a mother and children is stronger than any other bond. I fell in love with chemistry. I love getting into the lab, doing physics experiments, we also had to do biology and grow plants, and I love that. This is very There is a mouthful of molecules I work with called thalocyanins are used as dyes. Yes. The structure of these molecules was similar to the structure of the molecule you find in blood. So people began to think that why can't we use the same molecule for medical purposes? When we use the one that is from blood, it does not absorb light strongly. You've got to use large doses, which is not good for the patient. No, no it's, it's not part of It's not part of this. Now, what we are doing is to make molecules that target cancer cells so that we don't destroy the whole body like chemotherapy. In research, it's hard work. You just need support. I never got that. And that's one thing I vowed. Attitudes don't change. As a woman, I feel I've continuously had to fight. But I felt that by doing excellent work, by promoting the women students in particular, you empower them, you, you make them stand up. As you can see, it's, 
she is very inspirational and she's worked hard to achieve everything that she has done. It should be a, a important message for everyone to work hard and go towards what you want to do, achieve your dreams. Um, not, don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. So thank you so much for watching our video presentation. We hope you enjoyed it. These are our references. Thank you and have a good day.